Hi there, uh, it's Alex here on board Hugo Boss. Uh, we've had some problems, haven't we, with the wind? Yeah, no, that hasn't been a lot of wind. Very little wind. Uh, when we came out of the needle, the, uh, the other boats just stayed out short a little bit. And we uh, passed a little bit yeah. And we just seemed to sit in a little hole of our own. And unfortunately, it was very difficult to get back out of it. So uh, we can see the other boats around us. Uh, the, the furthest one that's leaning is about uh, three miles over there. There's a little group of us together and we're probably just on the back end of that with a few others just behind us. So you know, we're trying hard and uh, you know, we're just praying that we can get around Portland Field before the tide changes. Now you can see Rob on the, the left hand side of your screen. Uh, it's around 9 o'clock. It's just starting to get dark. I don't know if you can see behind me over here. That's Portland Bill and we're very happy to have gone past Portland Bill. There's a lot of lights behind us. I'll uh, be feeling sorry for those guys who don't make it round Port of Bill and um, have to anchor for the night. It's a pretty hard thing to do on the first night of the night. I went to bed and we had about uh, six knots of wind and we're, and we're going pretty well. And, uh, and unfortunately now we're down to 2.3 knots of wind. We're probably going a knot forwards through the water. But unfortunately, the water's going two knots uh, backwards. So, uh, according to the chart, we've lost about 1.1 uh, miles. In fact, at one stage, we even uh, put the anchor down. I think it's called kedging. Maybe kedging. Kedging our bets. It really hasn't been a great night for us. You know, a lot of the other boats got away from us, which is extremely frustrating. We probably only missed the wind band by two or three miles and, uh, and ended up actually going backwards, so very, very frustrating. Now we're in catch-up mode and as hard as possible to, to get back to the guys. We're literally off of the lizard. I think we'll be on this, this tack now for a couple of minutes and then uh, we'll be tacking and uh, heading into Mount Bay. So uh, fingers crossed we get the ship and we don't have to tack again before Land's End. Welcome to day three of the fast net race. It is a beautiful morning outside. Uh, there's a little bit of wind around. Good night as well last night. Three dolphins came along next to us and started jumping and jumping out of the water. And they were kind of, uh, I think they were racing the keel as, as we uh, were sailing along. And it was really quite special. So we've made up a bit of ground, but uh, we're still a fair way behind. The good news is we're moving quicker now. The uh, how far is it to go, KB? 34 of the rock, then uh, we'll work out the rest when we get there. <laughs> we're almost halfway. And, uh, Only take a day to get home, though. It's good breeze forecast and spinnaker up. Should be a good run. Hopefully, you can see the picture. And you won't be able to hear it, but I can hear the foghorn, the horn of the famous Fastnet rock. Okay, that's ready to tack. Go to the, go to the stair camera as we go to the tack. So the idea now we've got eight miles to go to the Pantaneous, which is like a splitter mark to split the fleet up from those coming towards us and those going away. Once we get to Pantaneous, we'll hoist our big spinnaker and then we'll be homeward bound. I can tell you this is a much better sight seeing the boat roaring along. It's uh, very disappointing to see the other open 60s coming past us, but uh, you know, it's not over till it's over, and you know, it's, uh, in my opinion, there's no point in beating yourself up for uh, you know, one mistake close to the start. Selby and all that. Excellent breeze for a while, up to 20 knots. Now we're down, it's down to 10 knots as predicted. But the good news is we've overtaken another Open 60. We've overtaken Artemis, the Prophet Hunter. Uh, KP reckons ETA 3 o'clock tomorrow afternoon, which uh, would be nice. It's a good time to finish. Chance for a shower and shave and a burger and, uh, and a cold one, I think. A few pints of beer. <laughs> Excellent, we made it, yes! Crossed the line, my first ever sailing race, and it's been incredible, it's been a 
just an incredible experience. We've had a good sail, it's been fun. We've sailed the boat well, and uh, if it hadn't been for that, I'm sure we'd have been amongst it and fighting for the for the lead. But so it's goodbye for me. Cheers. Goodbye. Thank you. Thanks, Alex. Cheers, buddy. Bye.